All right, so to connect the Canon MG257 T series, all you need to do is plug it in and plug the USB to your laptop or your computer, and you have to download the driver. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you guys how to go about this. As you can see, this is a printer, a scanner, and also a photocopying machine. So for us to carry out this action, we have to go around, connect this cable right here, connect this over here, make sure it's plugged in, and then the, the AC cable, plug this in, and make sure you plug this uh, printer to your light source here. Go ahead and plug in the USB. This has a USB on the other end which is this right here. Once you have all this plugged in, make sure you just go around and uh, turn on the printer. And let's go to the next step, installing the driver. All right, guys, so after you uh, actually connected your printer to your computer, all you need to do right now is to install the driver. So for us to do that, since our computer doesn't have an external CD drive, if yours have, you can go ahead and just put in the disk and install it from there. But this is another way to do it. We're going to inst install it from the Canon website. So go ahead right now and just uh, type in your your Canon and the printer model and then just put driver. And just search on that. And it's going to take you to the Canon website. So from here, you can see right now, this is the official website of Canon. I'll be dropping the link in the description for those of you that are actually using this exact same printer model from Canon. Okay, so all you have to do right now is just to um, scroll down. You would see that automatically the operating system has been detected automatically. So from here, you can just go ahead and just make sure you download this latest version. As of the time of recording, the latest version is version 1. Point zero three. Okay, go ahead right now and just click on this place here and it's going to actually try to take you to the next page where you will be able to download. Click on download and select the folder you want to use. In my case, this is what I want to use. Click on save and in few seconds, it's actually uh, saved it up for us. Okay, go to the folder where you have this um, saved on your computer. Okay, so from here right now, I'm just going to put this on the full screen. Okay, so from here, you can see that we have our driver here. So what we can do right now is just to go ahead and install this to our computer. How do we do that? Just click on it. From here, it's going to run this. And within a few minutes, it's going to be installed already. Just follow the prompt on your screen. Click on next. Click on you select your residence it doesn't really matter i will leave my i will leave mine on usa and click on next from here i agree to the terms of using this software so i will click on yes and giving this thing uh, a couple of minutes is actually going to uh, install this whole thing down to the point of detecting uh, your printer so make sure your printer is actually connected and it is actually turned on just like i showed you from the very first step so from here it's registering the printer driver for us okay so from here it says we should make sure our, our printer is connected and it would actually detect it for us okay so just give this a couple of seconds to minutes sometimes it might take a little bit longer but do not disconnect anything at this point just wait for it all right, so it has actually recognized our printer and now it's just registering the scanner device. I'll show you guys how to actually scan on the next video. If you're interested in that, you can just go ahead and click on the link just in the description or just above right here. Thank you for watching and your printer is actually good to go. Now you can actually go ahead and put in your ink and start printing right away. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.